my what well, here we're a ring in it good all too hello chat how are we doing what's going on hope you guys are well and this is going to be basically a let's p let's pvp stream uh we had a ton of new content this week with the patch we had new maps we had sigils and rune changes as well so there's lots going on in the game especially like potential for meta changes and just new maps and uh what's going on with that we have three awesome arena net employees here today as well um first of all we're going to go to my right hand side this is carson carson do you want to tell us about what you do on the game and what how you were involved in the actual patch this week yeah so uh, i was the mapperist behind the new maps that got released so uh yeah, I built the maps from the ground up with the help of Cal and Ben getting the design and flow and the uh, artistic vision, if you will. Yeah, completely. Yeah. Awesome. And then we've got Ben to my left-hand side. If you don't know who Ben is, this might be your first time here. So, Ben, if you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and what you what you do on the game. Hey, everyone. Uh, I'm Ben with a really long last name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a really long <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I primarily, I'm a designer for competitive, so I work on uh, PvP and World versus World. Uh, and so I design the mechanics of uh, the new Conquest map and the new 2v2 map. Awesome. And then finally, not, not last but not least, with a brand new hairstyle. I don't know where, he, I don't know where Cal got his, got his hairstyle from, but uh, what do you do on the game, dude? And... Uh, what did you do specifically in this patch? Uh, so I am QA for competitive, which PvP and Wolf has been also works on. So all of the bugs are my fault. All the uh, <laughs> well, not, you can he's... jump out of the map and like uh, okay. run into I, walls that have no collision. It's basically all my fault. He didn't create the bugs. He just didn't necessarily <laughs> find all of them. But... We, I, we make so many that it's sometimes difficult. <laughs> How is that creative? Working with Carson is always an adventure. Yeah, I, I don't know. Carson, Carson likes to add uh, places. Uh, I think he adds bugs on purpose sometimes. Uh, you never know. You never know. <laughs> I don't know how you didn't find this one, Cal. <laughs> this one right here? Oh, the, this one's no great. Question. Yeah. Yeah, this one's my favorite. Yeah, people were trying to do this during the week because it's actually quite good. It's, it is actually, if you guys do this on stream, um, obviously not to win games, but like to show the devs and stuff, get clips, show them all the stuff, because obviously this stuff is brand new. Um, and this is part of the reason why we're here today, obviously, because we're going to ask some questions to these guys, uh, talk about the map, maybe play it as well. So if you're in the stream at the moment and you want to come and join the actual map itself and you want to play through with, you know, free developers from ArenaNet, there is me as well, but I'll probably be spectating. Um, then the arena is on NA, and it's cool. And if you search for Jebro.6370, and the password is apples and the number one. So if you want to come and join us on the stream in the actual game itself, there are spectator slots as well. So if you want to do that, come come join us. Come play with the guys, and uh, we can have a look through this this first map. So this is um, Jin's Dominion. It is. Um, it is a fantastic map. Uh, the art style, Carsten. This map is awesome. It looks fa absolutely fantastic. Um, I, don't, I think we're on me at the moment. Here we are. Okay, so while the rest of the guys, while you guys in chat want to come in, you can join either team, join blue or red. Uh, top right-hand corner, just press the blue arrow or the red arrow. As soon as we get loads of people in, um, we'll probably start a match. But it's not 100% necessary. So I was going to ask Carson first, what was the the inspiration really for the style that you have in the map with the art and and you know the general design of the area is that something you can talk about a little bit yeah so well first of all i was inspired by path of fire i really mm -hmm. wanted to get in and work with the new assets that we were given for the expansion right and uh i guess the the other thing i was inspired by was i had a trip to the columbia river right here in washington oh nice yeah and uh, it's pretty much a mirror image of what I what I saw there, and it was just kind of a cool cool environment to be in. So I kind of wanted to blend the two, have used the Path of Fire props, and kind of have this mysterious uh, river canyon, if you will, and a little fishing village that is kind of nestled in that canyon. Yeah, that's right. You can kind of see it there. Yeah, it's just kind of this almost side beautiful place that is just this secret for almost from the world that's kind of the way i saw it when i zoomed out of the map the other day and then kind of people are just chilling doing their fishing and stuff yeah mm -hmm. like it. that's good 
Okay, awesome. Yeah, I mean, you can see that from some of the maps in Pi for Fire as well. Obviously, you've got the gin downstairs um, when you do collect, if I can actually go down now on the map because I changed my keybinds. Um, in terms of the gin themselves, that's, it's Jasmine. How do you say it correctly? Jasmine. 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 Jasmine the fickle. Yeah. And then we've got um, the that is voice acted by Jennifer Hale as well, which is yep. pretty cool. Um, and the new voice actor, which I, you know, I, well, not new. She's obviously been around a while. Um, but a bit of a different change from previous maps. That's awesome as well. Just a bit refreshing. It feels, this is how this map feels. It feels refreshing, especially this buff. Um, well, the lamp that you guys can kind of see. Was, was there a reason you chose the lamp specifically is, is the thing that people kind of... We well, actually I we went through the... a couple different iterations, right? Like at one point, it was going to be like a wishing fountain, and then it felt a little weird, so we decided to add uh, the lamp area and add the lamp there. Um, yeah. Originally, the fountain was going to be like a, a teleport thing, um, and then once we had the we came across the lamp idea, like we decided that the way the mechanic was going to get added was through a gin granting these skills, and you know the lamp kind of came natural after that. Um, and then Carson worked really hard to build like a what would the interior of a Jin's uh, lamp look like in a small yeah. scale? Uh, yeah. We had a, a, a few different things that we were planning on doing, but there's a lot of technical limitations with with teleporting players to different zones. So. Yeah, we had talked about maybe making the platform like really high up in the sky and making this mm -hmm. weird like kind of otherworldly skybox. Uh, the problem is if it's too far away, you'll get a loading screen, which is not great for PvP uh, because then whoever has the fastest SSD, you know, comes in first, right? So we don't we want that to happen. That to happen. So <laughs> the room was actually right underneath the uh, the lamp now, um, so that that kind of ended up influencing how big the room could be. I'm just gonna see if I can go down there. There, yeah, that's the right camera angle. So yeah, I mean, this room is quite cool. I mean, it just kind of reminds me of the raid as well, the new raid where we, you know, we go into the Mystic. The mystic bathroom um <laughs> <laughs> and uh you know we go and fight the gym down there you know and everything else that's going down there so that's what came to me uh personally from this map which is pretty awesome and then you've got yasmi as well and you can win her favorite in this small tiny arena down in the bottom um and they are different buffs as far as i remember there is see I, see if you go to the guild wars too wicked wiki everyone Jin's dominion <laughs> I did a little tiny note on this. So you can go and check out the info if you're not too sure. Um, there is three different buffs that you can win downstairs. It's almost like, it's kind of like, you can win, like, I'm sorry, you can make a wish, but you have to kill someone first. Right. <laughs> or a couple of people. Well, unless know. they never show up to... to unless uh, they finish. never finish up, yeah. yeah. And so so that buff comes up every two minutes. Is that, that's yeah, right? the, the arena is open every two minutes. There's three skills that she will grant you if you capture the point. Um, First one is aptly named Giant Meteor, which is, it's a giant meteor. <laughs> uh, the one difference is, like, most meteors in the game are always fiery, and we decided she'd be a water gen, so we, we made it an icy meteor this time. Um, yeah. But it's a, a really slow-moving meteor, and, but it does 50% of your health if you get hit by it. Uh, Okay. That's the, yeah, that's one. I'm just sorry. I'm just starting the game so we can see where yeah. the kind of what happens in the map and I can maybe follow you guys and we can show yeah, yeah. people sure. how they can channel things. People haven't come into the arena. No one wants to come and kill an arena that day. <laughs> Absolutely fine. We have if a few it, people in here. You can join. Yeah, you can join up. It doesn't have to be equal, guys. Because so the arena, if you search for Jebro and then the password is apples and the number one. Uh, you can join in the arena as well. If you should so wish, you do not have to. It's not and we're not going to be it's not going to be crazy competition or anything. Just come in yeah. at your leisure. Join the map. I'm just going to keep restarting every We're single time we go through. It. Very casual. We'll just talk about it. Um, so the second skill you can get is called Disenchantment Fields. Uh, it's a little AOE drop down that it removes all uh, buffs and conditions. Uh, yep. all, all boons and conditions, I should say. That's uh, right. From both friends and foes. So we wanted it to be a little bit strategic in how you place it because you could screw yourself if you put it down on top of yourself and lose all your butt, your boons. Uh, but you, maybe you, wanted, maybe you want to do that if you're getting really highly pressured by uh, a Scourge or something, right? And you, you care more about getting rid of all your conditions rather than... Uh, um, and don't, don't care about getting rid of your boons. Uh, it's true. I mean, it's, it's like a really, yeah, 
really powerful self tool as well because there is there is this, that single ability the single target ability which is the final one right yeah so the the final ability is a missile attack that does 20 percent of your target's health when it hits but it leaves a debuff on them that if they get hit again will do an additional 20 percent per stack so if all five people hit the same person you can insta kill somebody um, the idea was that it would be something that requires a coordination uh, from the rest of the team to truly unlock its full potential, but it's still fairly powerful by itself doing 20% damage. Uh, I think they're meant to be, they're not meant to be, are they meant, is is the intention for them to be massively game changing or are they just kind of help to push through, you know, another point of contention simple, similar to, you know, other maps like Skyhammer, um, like Temple of Silent Storm, things like that. Is it, well, Temple of Silent Storm, those maps, you know, those buffs are very critical. So maybe take that one out. But, um, and so can Skyhammer. So it's, what's the intention? Is this something as well that you want to do in old maps or new maps? Yeah, I mean, the the idea was that they wouldn't necessarily win or lose the game for you, but it can definitely help you. Um, allow Basically open up more uh, ideas for you to use. Like, if you have trouble with point control, then maybe you want to get the Comet to push people off point. It's, it's the same radius as a point, so if you put it down, you force them to move or take a huge amount of damage. Um, okay. So it, it's a, a little bit of area denial. And then it was basically just to, to give people more options and some interesting things. I didn't want to do a mechanic that felt required all the time. I wanted you to have to make the choice of whether it's worth for you to get uh, or not. Um, but getting it should be a, a big benefit, especially since one person capping it down there can grant it for the whole team, right? Like everybody yeah. on the team gets the skill, not just the person who capped it. Unfortunately, I did miss the cap. The cap of the actual. Thing. I didn't yeah. miss the. I didn't. Cause we got the cap, so it's like a normal capture point. One person downstairs. You don't need to have so many people on the point capture. It doesn't go any faster. Um, so it's just like a regular capture point, and you do get it for your entire team. So don't forget that, even though it is. Um, I think someone said in the chat they didn't look too powerful. You got to remember that this is on five people. Five people. Right. This isn't just on one person. So if you're doing twenty percent. Um, damage along with all the rest of their abilities when they have that ability come up and they've got that much condi removal They've got that much boon removal if you think about per per buff. Well, that's 10 boons per person, right? It removes right. Yeah, So that's it, 50 yeah. like, you know, it, can it clears everything <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot of condi yeah. removal. It's yeah. if you're having a big team fight that buff specifically you might find the people are going to go for that one more as well because it's very very strong team fight buff and you've got the obviously the the big aoe damage as well coming out from meteor imagine five meteors coming down with the rest of what's right. going on i mean you know whether or not at high end you can argue whether or not people would use that it doesn't matter because you know there's different there's different things that happen in pvp there's ranked there's unranked uh, and different things that happen as well tournaments you know if you're playing custom stuff it could be even more people in the map as well but um yeah the the voice actor i really actually like the change of that. i think it's quite nice yeah. um to have that little difference in there it's How, nice a little variety yeah. yeah exactly variety is good variety is the spice of life um cal what are you uh, specifically proud of from this map would you say uh For yourself i don't know there wasn't too much <clears throat> not too much crazy stuff happened during development honestly I think the map's cool. Like it's kind of a <clears throat> change of pace from the other maps. We have like the more frequent secondary objective. Yeah. So it's like, but it's not at the same power level as some of the other ones. So it kind of creates a different thought process to how you want to rotate. Mm-hmm. And whether or not you want to give up, give up the objective this time to get the. Uh, Getting like 1v3 while I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> it's all right, you got this, man. Cal can handle one. He's been playing the game. He's, he's been playing the game for ages. So I won't talk about uh, all the other stuff because I won't embarrass you. Um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, same question to you, Carson. Really, is there anything that Matt specifically that you, for you yourself that you're really, really proud of? Oh, uh, sorry, what? <laughs> so okay. cool. so invested. He's like, he does, I don't play, I, you know, I don't get in there much in designing the maps, but now I'm into PvP. He's going into automated tournaments. Like, um, what are you specifically uh, proud of of the map that you produced? I created. Sorry. I really like how uh, the flow turned out. Right. Um, mm. I heard a lot of things about how the points are really close together, but it's it's creating so much action oh, on the definitely. map that uh, I didn't even see that coming and. There was a lot of iteration and design that went into, like, 
creating new choke points and we went back to the drawing board quite yeah one good. of our early play tests we didn't have the back paths uh behind the points over here mm. uh, and then that was one of the things that people wanted to make sure there was multiple ways to get between points uh the uh <laughs> trash talk window is actually one of our favorites uh it's pretty fun it used to be well. It used to be the window, and we had to turn it to the, the hallway. Trash talk window. The yeah. original <laughs> devs calling it a trash talk window. Yeah. Excellent. Yo, so this is officially. Maybe you need to put a little icon there. There, it says yeah. trash talk window. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, originally they were much closer together, but we found out that people could actually cast through the window and hit each other in their spawns. So <laughs> we had to we had to keep expanding it until it finally became the trash talk hallway rather than window. But uh, excellent. Yeah. The trash talk hallway <laughs> of doom. I'm gonna have doom and gold actually. There's a lot of there's a lot of riches. There's a lot of treasure in there. Yeah, yeah man, that's good. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna kind of walk through the map, and that that was a really good point that actually Carson said because when I when I first started the, this map, and, and this goes for the same with all of the maps, especially like the older maps in Guild Wars, the first kind of conquest ones. Um, it is it is it's got a lot of pathways going to and from you know mid to the left hand side to the right hand side. Um, all capture points. But one thing I really like is actually these kind of stairs that go up um, on either side as well, because people can't just, they can port obviously to a degree, but it feels like they're still kind of in reach. There's a lot of little nooks and crannies that you can kind of hide around. You know, you can line the site around different things like these kind of, I don't know, I'm going to say, call them bales of things um boxes as well that you can jump yeah. up on fun little just mini jump puzzles that are kind of around I haven't had the opportunity to look at every single thing in the world but you know you can kind of get up there just to avoid a little bit of damage jump back down you know it's it's pretty cool i like i like that flow it's, it's very reminiscent of you know like forest and uh, kylo as well which has obviously got some changes um but in terms of Thinking about this map, this is the 5v5 map. We've got the other Conquest maps as well. Um, and there might be people who say, you know, they want different kind of game modes. They want different kind of things to come into the game rather than just Conquest. Because maybe, you know, those people, um, maybe, you know, those people kind of move on. They're not sure if they want to play that anymore. But we also got a 2v2 arena, which has some epic, some awesome new mechanics that we've never really seen in Guild Wars. So as far as I remember, I'm not sure if I've seen one of those map shrinking kind of mechanics in PvE bosses, uh, maybe in raids or something. Well, we, we, did the, we did the same type of mechanic in the Hall of the Mist, like the first 2v2. Uh, it also shrinks uh, just in a little different way. Oh, that's right, yeah. Uh, the, we wanted to change it up a little bit, and like, a certain arena is a much more open environment than the Hall. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so it's, we may even use that uh, for 3v3s later on, since it can probably support a little bit larger than just 2v2. Hallway might be a little bit tight for 3v3. Uh, yeah, the hallway is, yeah. I mean, because it's that kind of long... It's yeah, long, it has long a little growth. bit of brutality to yeah. it, whereas uh, a third arena is just much more open, uh, uh, which I think we'll probably end up showing at some point. Uh, but yeah, the definitely. idea was that we would start getting a few alternate gameplay maps in uh, that we could have special events on. Like, we don't currently aren't kind of, aren't planning to do like a queue for two v twos, but having regular special events is something we've been wanting to do for a while, um, and we just finally have the new the tournaments uh, set up in a way where we can set that up fairly easily. So that led to our scheduling of our first two v two official tournament coming in a couple weeks. Twenty sixth of November. Yep. Is that right? Yeah, and that goes yeah. until and then it finalizes on first. Of on the December. first. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. So the first is a Saturday, everyone. So is it the same? That was that's a good. You guys are really good at getting us to my next point. You know, I mean, it's like it's like you read the questions. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> like, um, <laughs> um, but basically, uh, with the TVT map, guys, as you know, and with um, Guild Wars here, I mean, let's, let's have a look and just actually show you what. Uh, I'm talking about in tournaments wise you've still got the you've got the 5v5 automate tournaments which you should definitely be trying to enter if you've got some friends go and have a look at the LFG as well in the top left hand corner you can do that and you can also try and find some friends or people um, that can join you because you know what I joined one the other day I won lot I won my first game lost the second got five gold pretty sweet you know easy money um, didn't take that long either and met a couple of new people and now we play together as well Nice. Absolutely yeah. awesome. And you can still, still do the same with 2v2, but if you don't have, you know, four other people that are available at the time, you just pick that one person up, your buddy, you know, ring him up, 
Yep. Whoever, um, Ben, he'll play with you as well. Sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be a little bit of detriment. You probably want somebody else who's a little bit better than I am. But... I've been, he's lying. Just get yeah. Cal then instead. Yeah. Carson's in practice. Carson's practicing. He's been telling me all about his two v two experience in the past. Yeah. You know, he was uh, ex pro player in uh, other various games. Anyone going to start talking? Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so um, with that tournament, so it we're not going to. There's going to be four a day. Yeah, we're we're slotting them in between the conquest tournaments. Um, mm -hmm. So you know, a few hours after a conquest tournament, the two v two tournament will will slot in, um, and then they'll alternate that. And that's for the first five days, and then the sixth day on the Saturday, there'll be a main event at the same time we would normally do uh, the monthlies. Like at noon on Saturday will be the the big the big money event, which there won't be any entrance uh, requirements to get in. Um, oh. Okay. So anybody can can play, even if they didn't play the other TVTs. Though I, I'd recommend getting some practice on the daily TVTs before you try to do the uh, big show. Uh, but there's some exclusive rewards. We're giving out uh, a permanent pass to the uh, Champions Rest. Oh, nice the, uh, VIP area. Um, which is will be this will be the first time we've given out the the uh, permanent pass. That uh, we've made them available to uh, uh, community run tournaments uh, pretty recently. Uh, ah. So, uh, so can you can you tell us? And by the way, I booted this out because we're going to go and check out the TV2 arena. We can actually have some TVTs going on in there. Um, so again, so the the arena Jebro dot six three seven zero. Apple's one is the password, so you can just go but jump back in there. But the map, um, this map, is very awesome, and I think this is is it is it just this map for the TVTs, or does it rotate? Like it's going to rotate between this and the hallway. Oh, awesome! Okay, so so there is actually two completely different play styles going on in here as well. Like you've got this, like you say, the larger arena, and you've got the hallway as well. Yeah. Okay, I didn't even think about that being um, added. That's awesome. They'll be similar to what we do in the conquest ones, where the next round will be a different uh, a different map. Yeah, and yeah. Flip totally. between the two. Awesome. Have we got? We've got four people. Oh, wicked! So we are gonna. I sound like a kid, right? So <laughs> wicked when I was a kid. Um, we're gonna watch this game. So I'm just gonna. I'm not. Um, I'm not gonna specifically shoutcast. I guess. Um, but you guys know. Obviously, that's kind of what I've done in Guild Wars 2 for many years. Um, but we're just gonna watch these guys. We're gonna talk about the mechanics as well. So, um, Carson, how much? Did you? You had a lot of work on this map as well, or was it mainly the five v five? Yeah, I made this map as well. There yeah, you go. The, the whole thing. What was the um, idea behind having this kind of platform that goes up here? I mean, obviously, you know, you've got line of sight and everything else that can occur underneath. But can you tell us a little bit about why you made that platform specifically? Yeah, I mean, I, I really like the ability. I, I really like elevation and verticality for juking. Mm -hmm. it's, I think it's the better way to handle it because you can outflank your opponent and run around, come up a different platform and kind of just psych them out a little bit rather than just going around in circles around a pillar. Mm. So I think it opens up a lot to that. And then the for the end mechanic, it only being up on the top kind of makes it a unique kind of ex fighting experience when that circle's coming in. If yeah, get... so if people aren't familiar, at the end of two minutes, at least this, if you haven't set it to the standard times, uh, at the end of two minutes, the arena starts to sh shrink, basically. Uh, and you can only play... Well, eventually the whole map will go away. Uh, we wanted to make sure that the, the maps have a satisfying ending. And we have several classes in the game that are good at you know running around and evading. Uh, so we wanted to make sure that we force a conclusion to the end, to the uh, round. Um, the ad Additionally, at the end of two minutes, we turn off healing, we turn off, we mark, or uh, we turn off stealth. Mm -hmm. So that basically everything we can do to force you to fight if you've been running around and, and uh, hiding the whole game then you got to change your strategy after it's, when you go into overtime so. it's massively so how about regeneration does regeneration affect that after two minutes i haven't actually gotten uh, to i didn't actually check myself and i can't remember I know I, it's, i'm trying to remember now <laughs> cal, cal do you remember does regeneration turn off too yeah, you can't yeah. heal at all. You can't heal at all. Yeah, can't I think we, all. we turn off all healing. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So even the boon regeneration cannot help you out, guys. So if you're, so if, obviously, if you're running a two v two comp with a thief, your main aim is to finish them before the two minutes come up, because otherwise, if, if they sustain through that, then you know they're going to be, they're going to be really, really kind of screwed. On, yeah. In all honesty. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just the only way I can really say. If you're a thief with no stealth, uh, unless you know you've got a lot of avoidance and you're playing that. 
those kind of um, heart forms builds and whatnot as well, then there's not really much you can do uh, to avoid that. So you're going to have different comps, different comps that can sustain until past maybe the two minutes um, of the, in these CV2s, or maybe ones that are going to be more focused on burst and stealth uh, and mobility, so they can take those guys out before the two minutes come up. So we are going to see that in about 25 seconds. So you've got two minutes, although it's just... Oh, no, did they die? Maybe I missed that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna are gonna try and show you this, um, <laughs> but it's like I mean, if you've played any um, battle royale game as well, you know that most um, a lot of them have that kind of shrinking area that kind of comes into the middle. It's it's kind of reminiscent reminiscent of that, um, but it is just one of those mechanics which is really good to just force those fights, which is right. what I like yeah. about this map. Yeah. Um, even if I get completely uh, trashed on by people, which is always fun. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I mean, Ben, like, uh, I was I was sorry, I was talking to Carson, I was asking him, I kind of went off on a tangent. We were talking about the platform over here, but you didn't want, you wanted most of the fire to take place around here, obviously. I know that you've got the side part of the arena as you go around the edge of the circle is quite bare, but then there's this kind of little bit over here where you can, is there any reason you particularly chose that little bit? Because I was running around it the other day, I was like, oh, okay, there's a little bit, maybe I can get up on the tree or something, but... Um, it really feels like this arena is making you, and that's yeah. mainly, you know. Yeah, that, that, uh, the whole reason why there's a little bit more to jump around on over here, but also notice that it's really close, it's a lot closer to the middle. So, in a, in a sense, you're, um, I'm getting rid of the space either way, but I'm eliminating all the symmetry from a visual standpoint. I'm just telling the guys in the arena don't kill each other because I kind of want to see it play out. <laughs> hardcore, these guys. These guys are hardcore. They just want to win, man. Yeah. Just want I mean, win. that's the way they should be, right? That's yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But it doesn't help. I want to show the. I want to show the shrink in the arena. Um, but yeah, that's that's fantastic. It is a very awesome looking. Map. Um, really, really attractive. So I'm not. It is still counting down. We've got about five seconds. Let me see if I can get another question in. Uh, you said gem rewards for the 2v2 tournament. Um, can you say how many gems? Or is that still uh, being decided? It was on the post. I've, I've, I'm not good at remembering specific numbers. So, <laughs> uh, I know I know the blog post we put up about it has the, the uh, rewards. Uh, is it have... exactly the same as the tournament? Uh, it no, it's less than Tournament of Legends okay. uh, for the number of gems. All right. uh, so when we negotiated this with the uh, commerce team, we were like, we want to run these fairly often, so they gave us a budget of gems that we wanted to run. Oh, often. nice. So, <laughs> so, uh, so hopefully, uh, along with the other rewards, I think it's pretty uh, a good motivator. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, definitely. I mean, we, we the gems were available when the first very first automated tournaments that ever came out, which was yeah. pretty much on release. It wasn't around for that long. Um, but I'm, just to switch the topic as well, very, very quickly, uh, this is the arena shrinking. Um, I mean, they can fight now, kill everyone. Um, <laughs> that's my uh, that's my shout in chat. But as you can see, the circle kind of goes slower up here, so it actually matches up there, and then it's still moving in. It is. It doesn't seem like it's very quick, but look at the area that these guys have to fight in, and it's still going. Everyone, it's gotten to the <laughs> at the top. It's still going until they die, and it's very, very quick death as well. Yeah, it does a large amount of damage per second, and it's based off of, it's a percent damage. So, more having more health does not help you in that uh, instance. Exactly. So yeah. So if if you think you're going to be able to build for the end bit to take damage, like Ben said, it is percentage based, and it ticks very, very hard. Um, for that situation, Jin was Jin, who is from our awesome community. Um, was in the downstairs. I believe she actually won that game for them. <laughs> I think that was it. Because they all kind of died at the same time, but it was still in downstairs. Yeah, they got themselves yeah, a win. They're, they're at 2-1 uh, right now. There you go. So that's the other big difference between uh, the 2v2 arenas and Conquest. This is a round-based. Yeah. So you lose a round, you still have... I think that the tournament will be the best 2 out of 3 uh, during the official tournament. Um, but yeah, so losing one round, you still have a chance to come back. See, that's awesome. That's exactly yeah. that's exactly what kind of people want as well. That kind of best of three inside the map, same map, good yeah. stuff. Um, so, question about that. I mean, in terms of the actual tournament, the TV2 tournament itself, is it? Uh, we've, you've been talking about on the uh, featured pr like progress um, forum post about the Swiss style tournaments for five v five, and 
what's the star for this? Is this kind of just bracketed or is it going to be Swiss? For the one this month, it's just going to be the same style we use for Conquest, uh, single elimination. Well, after you do, as you want, you win the, you know, all two out of three yeah. rounds, then you're eliminated. Uh, going forward, once we have the Swiss system, probably all the special tournaments will go, we'll use the Swiss system. Uh, oh wow! Okay, that's it. So yeah. it is. So is that is that confirmation? I don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and you can say if you can't say it, but for five v five eighty tournaments, automated tournaments. I mean, are we going to see that Swiss star coming this year? Or uh, I can't say exactly when yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. I, we're we're making pretty good progress. I think I've mentioned publicly already that most large amount of the back end work is finished. Now we're getting the UI end uh, done. Uh, so. So I, I don't want to guess on a time because I'm usually wrong. It's like the it's as fast as the programmers can do it. Of course, <laughs> of course. Yeah. But, it's, uh, the, but it's still in progress. The wheels are turning and yeah. there is a focus yeah. on getting into the game and it's going to yeah. be with us for some time. Right. Okay, that's awesome to know. So obviously, Swiss is going to give you a lot more chances to play. So if you lose your first game um, in 5v5, you know, you're going to be able to go against other teams, potentially get your ranking up to reach, you know, towards the later stages of the tournament really really good because then it, it doesn't give you that you know instant loss feeling and feeling awful about the fact right. that you know, like you're you, out of the tournament you you organize a team and got together like 30 minutes before and then suddenly you're out in 10 minutes it doesn't feel great uh, yeah so, uh, it doesn't like, feel great so, <laughs> i'm that person all right yeah, <laughs> that's that, me the idea we have is that uh, i think the numbers that we've set up for the number of swiss rounds is that if you only lose once you will make it to the single elimination bracket uh, you, right. there, anybody, i mean you the, the, depending on how everybody like how the swiss rounds turn out you could lose more than once but at least if you've only lost once by the end of the swiss rounds you'll make it to the single um awesome okay um Cow, is there anything you wanted to to add in terms of like the PvP P patch? Like, what what's your favorite thing like that's that got added to the entire patch? Oh, it's gotta be that new armor. The it's new the armor. armor. So oh. Good. I mean, I can't buy it, but I mean, it cool. <laughs> we, let's go and have a look at the. I'm gonna go and have a look at the new armor. You guys can keep playing versus each other. Castles on my right hand <laughs> side. You should see him right now. He's just like, oh. <laughs> he's trying to just, he's trying to kill Jin. Very nice. She's a very nice. She's a very nice person. She's really kind of. Um, I'll, I'll let you guys one we won. Oh, just... <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go over here. Um, so this is under the. They did add the new armor. Let me just remember where it's called. Here is the vendor. You know this guy should have glasses and be called like <laughs> Jeffrey. I mean, I'm just saying. Um, my name is in the game, but still. Um, <laughs> What is it? You know, I think it's a great name. Um, I'm Jebra, by the way. I didn't introduce myself. Wow. Introduce <laughs> myself uh, to you guys. I have been shoutcasting Guild Wars 2 PvP for a long time throughout the Pro League, uh, ESO Pro League, and, uh, you know, World Tournament Series as well uh, for a long time. Um, and it's really, it is, if you're interested in getting into PvP or you're thinking, you know, I haven't played for a while. It's worth it because, you know, this new map is fantastic. It looks great. It feels good. Um, it's one of the best maps that they've produced, um, I think, as well. I can successfully say that. I think it is a fantastic map. I like a lot of the pathways as well, personally. I've been playing a lot. I haven't really played ranked. I've ranked season has started, but I haven't yeah. actually been playing that much because uh, I like the new map. So make sure you get in. There's loads of stuff going on. And the 2v2 tournaments are going to give you a chance to get rewards as well. Um, and you can just enter and see how you do it. It doesn't matter how good you think you are you can only improve by practice obviously and 2v2s especially that arena are really open for a completely different matter uh, a completely different style of play completely different type of build as well um you may think about using different runes and sigils as well that with the runes and sigil changes um just don't pick up sanctuary obviously uh, <laughs> 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 sorry i had to put that in somewhere yeah, <laughs> um but but you know that got that kind of got resolved yeah, we've we did some hot fixes to Sanctuary to, to kind right. of tone it, tone it down a bit. We're, We're still gonna be watching it because there's still possible strange interactions. Yeah. So we may not be done, but we'll keep an eye. The big ones that came out like right after release have been handled to some degree. And that's so, that's just part and parcel of yeah. of adding new content yeah. to any game. You know, there's there's potential for things to you know elsewhere go a little bit astray and they got fixed and they yeah. kind of being looked yeah. at it's important that obviously that you know if something is very strong that that doesn't get nerfed to the ground because you know obviously you buffed it 
in a way and changed right. it for a reason. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Um, but yeah, we're here with the, this is the Mistforged Glorious? Yep. Okay, so we're going to have a look, quick look through here, actually. So wh why did you feel this needed to be put in specifically? Like, where is it? Where is this armor from? What was the thought process of putting this in? Uh, did Carson design any of this? I don't know. Mm -hmm. No more maps. So um, um, we've been wanting to do some new uh, PvP armor for a while. I think we actually started talking about this probably like a year ago. Right. <laughs> so it's, like, it's taken a while, but uh, getting new armor, I think I've, told people is probably one of the most expensive things for us to make uh, yes uh, and it takes a long time like getting stuff from every for every race gender combination is this is very time prohibitive um, but uh, we were able to talk to the effects team and like well maybe we can do something with the already existing armor uh, so uh, previously we had done a similar treatment with the world versus world armor uh, getting like the the back uh, effect that you have right mm, there. It's beautiful, um, actually. And so we also had the tech for diable armor that we got uh, a while back, uh, or diable effects, I should say, on the on the armor. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to make the effects diable. Um, so they went through and they did a pass on all the armor and added, you know, all the little glowy features and then added the ability to dive those. And it turned out uh, probably way better than I th expected. Actually, I, th I thought it would be good, but I I was a little bit, you know. People have seen the the basic armor set for a long time now, mm -hmm. uh, so I w But people, the positive, the feedback has been very positive. Uh, I was pretty pleased, and the uh, the back effect is really cool. Um, the only thing I forgot to do is I forgot to put in a version of the chest piece without the back effect because there are some people that just don't want those big giant effects like that. So. Uh, I mean, they can also use the wardrobe and just change it back to the other one. But I know you got that shininess on the front. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, there'll be a version coming out in a, uh, within a couple of releases that will have the, the, the chess piece without the big tendrils in the back. Oh, that's great. Uh, OK, so yeah. giving you more options to uh, fashion walls it up. Yeah, Good and it, it'll be a free. You'll be able to buy it free on the vendor if you've already unlocked the the uh, badge. And oh, people okay. Who, okay. who get the armor after that, both skins will unlock. but. Our system doesn't allow like unlocking things that you already had. So uh, I had to add the uh, weird vendor workaround where there's a free item on the vendor if you that makes if sense. you if you've already unlocked the skin. All right, let's have a look at the light armor very quickly. Um, here you go. So that's the light armor as well. So the guys like like Ben said, they've kind of rather than just you know it takes a long time to get those those requests through, and I actually really like that because because the armor's cool. Um, it was, it, you know, it's very, Guild Wars 2 is, is about a lot about the fashion and the wardrobe and, you know, we all spend God knows how many times, whether or not we're on stream at home, um, just, you know, making our character look epic. Um, and that's what we want. And, you know, it's very similar to the World of one, but then, of, of course, you've got the different ways of getting it. You still need to play PvP. Um, you can't just get it, uh, you know that easily you still need to go to a ranked season you still need to earn the shards you still need to also earn the marks as well um the grand cast the grand master uh marks as well like level workers and whatnot we can craft them or you can play you know in the ranked season you can get those from the boxes as well towards the end yeah oh we added some requirements too for you had to be uh pvp rank 100 at least and yeah that's that one and you had to yeah. have unlocked the uh, either the ardent or the the previous glory skin uh which actually that's not uh true yet we're actually going to be fixing that in the next the next release where if you have the the terminant version of the the previous the the glorious hero skin, you'll also be able to buy this. Um, oh, there you go. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's cool. So the tournament guys, yeah, who've got that armor, they'll be able to grab this straight away. Right. So so the progression to this is that you have to earn. So at the moment, do you have to own the ardent to you, to get the mist yep. Did you say you have to you have to own right, the right, ardent right. and then uh, be level one hundred and then have the currency. Uh, uh, we wanted to make sure we were rewarding people who have been PvPing uh, for a while, not just anybody. Uh, though we didn't want the the requirement to be quite as onerous as the one that the World vs. World uh, uh, Tier 3 armor yeah, has. Yeah, it is, it is a lot less. There is a, le a, a lesser requirement. Yeah. So so in terms of the Arden, it's just the Ascended piece, right? It's right. not like, yeah, okay, exactly, or anything else. Cool, awesome. So there's, there's a lot, in, like I said, in this patch. So there was... 
to be to arena we've got the runes and the sigil changes as well i mean there was you know pack got taken out there's a few quite a lot of different sigils and um and runes got changed as well just kind of um six the six piece and around the three or four piece as well in those rune sets which is actually really really nice you know sometimes something was a bit strong they want to just bring something else into the meadow and guild wars too it's not just about and it's always been about that as well it's not just about the skills balance it's also about that rune and sigil balance because that can change the meta as well yeah. and we've seen that in raids there has been some changes there as far as i can tell um people in chat might want to talk about that more in terms of pve and whatnot or not i don't know what the status of that is right now <laughs> um <laughs> but uh let me just see if i've got any more questions but i mean really ben as well like what are you the most proud of um, yeah uh, i mean i this is the first conquest map i've done like the previous map i worked on was the tvt one um I think the, uh, the the mechanic is kind of interesting. Um, so I'm just, yeah, I'm happy to get a new map out. I'm really happy to get the, the new armor out. I mean, I'm pretty usually pleased about everything that come, gets released. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ben's but, just like, yeah, yeah, I like this patch. This was yeah, good. It was this a good patch for us. Uh, next, next patch, that's also the best one. It's uh, okay. You only yeah. want to improve, right? I mean, exactly. that's where you want to go. Yeah. Um, I am going to just quickly jump back into the other 5v5 because I just want to see, want you guys to see again how epic this map is. Carson, you really did a great job, mate. Oh, well, thanks. It is it is a really well-designed map. Um, wow, look how many Conquest maps there are now. <laughs> Blimey. Oh, no, there is... There's, sorry, there's Stronghold and there's this too, but there, there is quite a lot. Um, also, I see Spirit Watch there. Um, progress... Uh, the feature Progress Forum post mentioned, uh, you know, the, the potential about bringing changes for that. Is there anything you can tell us about Spirit Watch? Uh, not specific yet. Uh, we've been wanting to, to do some reworks on Spirit Watch for a while. It's kind of been on our list, uh, but mm -hmm. it never bubbled up to the top of the, uh, the priority list. And then, but it's, you know, the only long time conquest map that is not on ranked right now. So we want to try to figure out a way to solve that. Um, we're kind of in brainstorm phase now, so we actually haven't mm. started like implementing any new changes. The biggest thing I want to kind of hit is uh, fix, do some changes to probably the orb, uh, try to get that more interesting. And I, I'm not a fan of removing player skills. Uh, I know yeah. why we did it in this case because like there's a lot of skills that allowed you to move really quickly, and it wasn't quite fair with the orb. But I feel like we can solve that maybe in another way. Uh, the, this is kind of brainstorming out loud, so don't don't hold me to yeah, this. Yeah, no, no, so, no. So, exactly. No, I mean uh, yeah. I think it's good. You know, I mean, and the guys, um, obviously, if you, and people in the community, you can go to the forums and you can suggest this kind of yeah. thing as well. Um, but in terms of new, I mean, this is really just thinking about Spirit Watch and the kind of remake, I guess, or the just thinking about different things that could happen on that map. Going forward, um, from, you know, and looking forward into 2019 and potentially new maps and whatnot, uh, would you envisage doing something along the style of this, where you put more buffs in and conquest? Or are you guys, I mean, you didn't, don't need to talk about specifics, obviously, <laughs> but uh, what are you thinking about new content, new maps, um, you know, new stuff for PvP maybe next year? Is there any hints or tips, like things you can secretly tell us so, you know, yeah definitely uh, I think <laughs> it's not so big of a secret i think i've talked about it's actually on our uh features in progress page but we have uh, a large deathmatch uh, arena in progress oh, it's actually mostly done but we have some issues outside of the map itself that we want to work out before we release it a uh, deathmatch map of like 5v5 or no more like 10v10 or 15v15 oh. uh, for custom arenas this wouldn't yeah, be for yeah, you yeah. but uh we have an issue right now with the ui where the the pvp ui for anything over five players is not great uh, yeah I remember it, it just yeah. throws everybody into a single team uh, <laughs> and people who play like big groups like that like to be able to arrange the subgroups and uh, you know, make sure they know where their buffs and stuff are going. Uh, going so I'd, I'd like to get us changed to use like the, you know, the squad UI for larger than 5v5. So that's going to take some work. And that's kind of what the main thing we're waiting on before we do that. It may end up that if that's going to take a long time, we might just put the map out so people can get feedback on the map itself before we get the rest of it in. Um, but that would be potentially a special tournament that we hold someday of Okay, let's have, uh, you know, a 10v10 uh, group. Like, oh, series. you said tournament there as yeah. well. Yeah, I mean, okay. it, our, our tournament system is robust enough that we can do any of the maps in a special tournament. Once the map exists, we can mm. throw it in, into special tournaments. And then 
people like every Nepponers or whatnot um, can go in and spectate those, yeah. essentially. Yep. So you could say, you know, if you've got a certain amount of people on each team, like, you know, a guild size, that's yeah. almost, you know, kind of mini. And I know what people are going to say is, here we go. But <laughs> yeah, technically, it could be almost guild v guild with spectator in an arena. Bang. Using PvP stats and armor. Using PvP yeah. stats and armor, yeah. I mean, I think that's I think that's an important thing to have as well. I do think that. I, do yeah, I, I mean, that. I don't know when we'd actually create a tournament, but that's I would like to do at some point. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. the potential is yeah. always there. But the thing is, yeah. if you have a custom arena, there's absolutely no reason why you can't create those tournaments yourself. Yeah. And you can do that now. I mean, you know, I've been doing that for a long time. Yeah. Um, and some other creators as well, you know, creating those 5v5s, 2v2s. Um, yeah. I would open. love to see, once we get that map, like see some uh, community run, like, like large mm. uh, tournaments, and then we could we could actually see if there's something that's viable to do uh, as an official support. Since yeah. The the, the uh, things change a little bit once we put it into an AT versus a community run tournament. But uh, I mean, the only concern we would have with that is if enough people can form te uh, you know a team of ten, uh, since it d definitely incre decreases the number of teams that could be would be available. But it could increase the number of people depending on new people who want to try it out. So exactly. It's one of those things exactly. that's hard to predict. So. But the thing is, there is there is a market for that, obviously. I mean, yeah. we, we all know there is a market for the yeah. for the larger player versus player, especially from the World of World community and Guild v Guild community, which is great. Um, but yeah, I mean, more options is, is always great. But obviously, you know, that does take people away from other modes and other places where you might, might want to develop that, which is always a yeah. very difficult decision to make. Um, and which maybe people don't maybe don't think about that, you know, because right. you want to put them in those different areas. So those places are populated so you can get competition so you can you know feel that yeah I, I mean i think we'll see a lot of information from the tv2 tournament uh, one thing we're gonna be looking for is how many people who don't normally participate in pvp will jump in for a tv2 yeah. versus five on five so that will show us a lot right if that if that oh, number is high then that that'll be very interesting uh data to have for us for future decision making completely carson look at this waterfall dude i mean how long did you look at this waterfall probably i mean <laughs> Just it's just like this map is how far can I go here? I'm not gonna break out. Oh wait uh, a minute. Ruined. Oh <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> it's great though. It's so good. Like I mean the if <laughs> you can see the whole map right there. Did you add a swinging boy, Carson? Uh no, there's a guy yeah. fishing on the couple boats though. Oh really? Whereabouts? You go over to that boat over there. Oh, Nice. Oh, wow. Okay. They're very Viking-esque kind of influence boats, right? It's kind of... I like it. Oh, that's not... He's, he's abandoned that one. Is he over here? There you go. Hey, there you go. <laughs> wow, look, look at that. Look at that for a screenshot. Come on. The skills. <laughs> and I was like, I've played the MMO before. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I, I mean, really, for myself as well, as probably a lot of people in the community, not necessarily um, uh, just PvP players, but you know, when you sit down with Carson, there's you, there's Cal, there's all these different people in a room, and you you start to brainstorm about a PvP map, right? Um, how long from that first initial meeting, obviously, you know, it's going through your head, but that right. first official meeting to release patch day now this week, how, how long did that take? I mean, is that something you can it's, tell us? It's a really variable thing. Like, we started working on this. I don't know, Carson, what do you think? When, we, when did you first start putting the map together? It's been like a year, probably. Yeah, eight months, to, nine eight months. months. Uh, it's not just that, like, we weren't working solid on this map for that no, long. Of it's course. Like, yeah, it's yeah, that, yeah. Like once we get our parts done, then we have a lot of <laughs> other, back. yeah, we have stuff like, things like getting VO added. So we have to get on the VO schedule, which is on a very regimented schedule. Yeah, like course. we basically have to time that like with Living World because that's when they pull in the most VO actors. Mm. Um, and then there's like getting the effects time. Uh, there's also there's all sorts of little moving pieces that uh, yeah. that makes something take a long time. Uh, the two v two maps were a lot faster to get out because we had less requirements to to you know for those like. We don't have VO for those, so we, you know, we didn't have that consideration. Oh, yeah. uh, the, the mini maps are small, so they're a little bit less complex to, to set up. Uh, um, so, like the, the mini maps, we we got in actually pretty quick. Well, so Sir Arena, we actually finished a while ago, and we we were waiting for the tournament functionality before we released it because we we wanted to release it with an event as opposed to just Ooh, releasing bang, it and yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah. So we kind of waited to time that up until we decided we were ready for the TVD tournament. 
and then release nice. it early so people could practice on it. And then there it is. Now it's in a, it's in an actual tournament for for nice rewards. So I mean, I mean, and then in terms of like Carson, what you're doing, obviously you're doing a lot of like the actual creation of the map. Yeah. Right? I mean, this is so you're going to be spending a a hell of a lot of time in there. I mean, over that eight months. I mean, is it? You know, <laughs> is it how much? time of your day did that time because i mean there's so much that goes on in this map i mean it's 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 pretty damn good <laughs> well actually it's compared to other guild wars maps it's still relatively small yeah yeah so it didn't take that much work it's just a lot of bats and over here <laughs> <laughs> you know didn't say that much it's just in a day's work but i mean we had, <laughs> we had playable done and we had the first playable done in a couple months. Nice. Yes. And then we, we play through it. We do feedback. Carson makes changes. I make changes. We play it again, get feedback again, make more changes. So it's kind of a thing like we, we would schedule regular play tests uh, every once in a while. And internally, like us and the – usually it's us and the skills guys will get in on on the, the map and fight. And then we'll we'll talk about it afterwards. We'll just like, how did this feel? Do you feel like you know this point had enough like pass to get to it? The – you know how the size, how the secondary mechanics feel. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. even the the uh, first play test. We didn't even have the gin bottle yet. We just yeah, that was just it was the, just the point up here where the gin bottle is now. Yeah. I think. Oh, okay. And then we just we we added the weight and then moved it down. Uh, we were a little concerned. Like we went through several times. We at one point we were going to put like giant border or walls on the outside, so you had to like go around the front to get in. Um, because and the runtime from spawn run time was... from spawn was so low, <laughs> yeah. Um, but then once once we added the teleport down, we didn't feel like we needed that anymore. Um, we originally had like five different uh, secondary skills instead of just the, just the three. And right. We, we cut it down both from like a resources perspective of you know you can't get effects time for all those five skills, and then some of them like the ideas so they weren't all that strong. So we decided like originally we had the a, a res skill, and then like. Red skills generally huh. maybe don't don't always feel that great. <laughs> yeah. So we yeah, decided yeah. to pull that skill. Uh, we had another one that was just a little bit maybe over complex, where it was kind of a causing you to do damage to your teammates if they. St I was trying to force people to spread out a little bit more than clump on, but like that doesn't always feel too good. So we cut that one. Uh, <laughs> uh, then like the original one of the other brainstorm ideas we had, like the only other secondary that we probably seriously considered uh, was one where a person on each side would 1v1 and whoever won that 1v1 would get a bunch of points for their team which we thought that would be very oh, interesting that's actually kind of fun because you, you could have a comp where that actually happens right. you can uh, have the good 1v1 who's more confident in that situation and i mean i actually don't think that's too much of a bad idea that actually could be really fun yeah the the big Did concern you... we had was that in uh when you're solo queuing uh, during like it'd be really cool during tournament play right because you have people yeah. who pre-planned pre like who's the 1v1 or who's going to do this who's going to be the duelist but in solo play, you could have like, oh, the elementalist went in there. Why? Why did that happen? Like the tempest went in there, and like that was a big. And it, it, we thought it could cause a lot of conflict on the team. Uh, mm -hmm. It's one of those things. That, <laughs> Creating conflict yeah. in conquest. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but co conflict within the team is usually something we try yeah. not to encourage too much. Uh, if we had a like, we've talked about maybe doing things where the mechanics change in tournament play versus uh, solo play or versus league play. And we could potentially do something like that. It would be kind of interesting. I can have a look. I, we've got the. Um, it can kind of. I can kind of see chat. So I mean, if there is any like create like, I've got loads of questions. Don't worry about that, guys. I can talk about it forever. <laughs> but if there is anything you uh, you particularly like about the map that you want to comment on, uh, nothing really skills related. It's not really about that. It's more about the maps and what. Yeah, we don't have nobody who actually works on skills as their main job is in here right now. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be appropriate yeah. for us to answer yeah. that, those questions for sure. Um, in terms of yeah, I mean, you were talking about like some stuff, different buffs and stuff that you were thinking about bringing in. Carson, what was something that was maybe that you wanted to put in, or that you, that you did put in that you had to remove? Was there anything like that at all? Um, I'm trying to think. He's just like, no, nah, it was perfect. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm that good, mate. It's, I, it's fine. Well, originally, I, I mentioned how much I like verticality, and yeah. originally, 
I wanted the middle point to be like way up high and Oh yes, yeah, but uh, Ben is strictly against knockoffs, so he was. Very... Oh, he doesn't want to think about another Skyhammer. Or thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I didn't watch yeah. any like uh, knockbacks that have such a big role to play in the in the map, uh, which I understand some people think that's really fun, but it it actually changes like the, it gives oh, yeah. one class a bigger advantage over than another. It's very frustrating. Uh, yeah, too big of an advantage. But the verticality that I was able to add on the side points, like uh, by the fishing village over here with the little JP, um, just just yes. little extra stuff exactly. like that is, you know, it was enough to, of a compromise where I felt happy. So. <laughs> I can get a massive platform in the air, but I'm happy with these small wooden yeah. blocks on the side uh, of the building. I mean, Carson is easy to please. Yeah, he did, he, did, he did a great job adding a lot of interesting, like jump puzzle, like small yeah. jump puzzle points and stuff like that in this map that I think worked out really well. Um, some jump puzzles that player he didn't intend ended up being in there, but <laughs> like this one, I didn't even yeah. see this one coming. Yeah. It's I'll... fixed though. <laughs> that's awesome. I love that. That's really, really good. I mean, what about um, what about Cal? Or as you know, he, we call him he's he's CMC. Just in case you didn't know, he had to put it a couple of times just in case he forgot on this character name. Um, but what, <laughs> was there anything in the map that you had maybe ideas for that you know were a little bit too I'm going to say ambitious or creative in inverted commas that um just wouldn't work. Or couldn't work. Uh, I don't think we did anything too crazy for this map. Yeah, like, it's fairly short. The, the first idea of like the one v one secondary objective was the main the one that didn't happen. That's but... quite a cool thing, though. I mean, to have that idea and you know, to obviously, you know, think again, that's not going to be useful for people, maybe even in this map or this competition. But you know, the idea is still there. It doesn't mean yeah. it's ever off the table. Um, I actually like it. I know I know people might say, oh, Jibra, that's an awful idea. It'd be rubbish for competitive. This game is not just about the high, competitive high end. It's about people just having fun and getting to yeah. PvP. Um, and that's what's great about that. So uh, let me have a look. We talked about that. Uh, oh, so the 2v2 tournament, November 26th to December 1st. We have that, and then you're talking about those being more special events rather than daily, you know, when it, when that pay tournament's gone through, obviously, and you looked at it. So in the future, is it going to be is it going to be the same as 5v5? Is that the intention, or do you want to have just it as a really special event to kind of occur? Uh, I mean, I'd like to for usually to change up gameplay a little bit, though I think our second tournament that, uh, I don't know if I should say this because it's not 100% approved yet, but... Sometime early next year, I want to do a Tournament of Legends, uh, which will be back on 5v5. Uh, <laughs> so, but it would be Ooh. it'd be a one-day tournament, uh, like similar, you know, similar to what we've done before, but just yeah. using the automated tournament system. Um, and I've gotten approval by Z to add the Generation Two legendaries in there, not just the Generation no. One legendaries. So, yeah. My good lord. <laughs> Did you hear that, guys? Approval for Gen t Gen Two. Yeah, the second the second group of legendaries. Wow, so. for Gen um, Two legendaries, get practicing. Yeah, so that hopefully sometime first quarter next year. Uh, it's a bit, it'll depend on depending on how well the TVT works. If it reveals any kind of flaws in the <laughs> system, people are like, change, yeah. so. <laughs> that's, that's but yeah, we've we've been wanting to run another tournament of legends for a while, um, and now that we're getting special tournaments off the ground, uh, it was a good opportunity to do that. Then going forward, you know, like we said, like, you know, 3v3 or even 5v5 deathmatch or something else uh, that will, I think, will give us an opportunity to, to add different gameplay styles without the worry about splitting the population that, you know, like, adding it to a queue would potentially do. That's fair enough. So we can't really expect, just because you made a new TV2 map, it doesn't specifically mean you're going to have a ranked 2v2 right. area. Yeah. No, because, yeah. yeah. again, that... It does take people away from the other modes, and you obviously want those pops to come thick and fast. The population obviously is is kind of up because it makes sense. There's new people coming in; they want to try the maps, um, which is not a fantastic thing to do as well. So if you're a new player and you're watching this and you're thinking, "Oh, I didn't know," you know, there was some new PvP content this week. You know, you might be into rage, you might be just a new player. Just pop into the mist, you know, go to the swords in the top left-hand corner, click that button, the top one, and then you know, enter the lobby. Do it. 
go and have a look. It's an absolutely fantastic patch this week. There's a lot of content actually <laughs> for PvP in one in one week. That yeah, is a big release. Uh, we're big we're release. planning to kind of group our content a little bit more like that going forward because like the, over the past couple of years we've kind of just trickled stuff up as it was done and it didn't really have like the quite the impact. We'll still do trickle out content for like fixes and small changes, but big changes like this we want to kind of turn into a big release uh, and like for sure and get it supported properly with the proper amount of fanfare we think it needs um i'm just trying to think i've i've got loads of stuff here but i've got things on my mind as well but in terms of like would you guys think about having different alternative modes in the older maps like even just something like this this buff mechanic in forest or is you know forest and therefore it was with launch with game with guild wars 2 when it released uh when it ships Nothing, nothing is going to be... Would you ever think about changing that map? You know, changing uh, the style of it? Or are you completely happy with it? Or just having a different mode? Like, this is Forest on Fire. I, 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 <laughs> we've I talked know. about, like, uh, one of the things... Uh, we probably won't go and change old maps like that too much unless there's something you know, specifically broken with them. But, like, Carson and I have been talking a lot about how we design like uh, future PvP maps. And I think I would like to make them... I think we, we both are kind of on the same page of trying to make them so they can support more than one style of play. Mm. So like the next Conquest map we might have may also have an alternative in custom arenas that lets you do Capture the Flag or King of the Hill or something. Um, yeah, that would be but, cool. So basically Very trying cool. to get more use out of the maps we create and design them in a way that we can just swap the rule set and not have to make a whole new map you know, for each type of uh, gameplay style. Yeah, so that's I mean, something we're that's, we're talking about doing for the future maps. I think that's I think that's a very good point. You know, I mean, it's it it can really change. Like Forest is probably in terms of you know maps, it's solid. You know, it, it's yeah. never needed to be changed other than when you know you think the top of the hinge got taken out. A little few things got changed on the east side point side of the map as well. There have been you know added a little jump puzzle to get up to the top of keep. Um, that was a fair while ago. In a couple of the other release maps, ship maps. Um, I mean, you know, I, old like Capricorn, I would love to see that come back. <laughs> we have started Just looking say. at some of the older maps to see if there's anything viable to, to bring back for... <laughs> Can we get? A, is there any bring back hashtag bring back Capricorn? Um, no, I don't even there. know. Does that map still even exist, Carson? Or did they over? Oh yeah. Oh, does it still exist? Yeah. yeah so that's in there somewhere. It's I'll in there it. somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Carson will ship it. He'll fish it out. He'll fish it out for us. We we like I. I mean, obviously, it had some underwater. It had underwater combat. I know I'm going off subjects a little bit. Yeah. It had underwater combat, but obviously, you know, um, Temple got changed a bit like that to remove that. It was a long time ago, um, and. Otherwise, the rest of the map, the you know, the assets, the ship, uh, and everything else are really, really fantastic. So those thing, kind of things, you know, I guess they're always possible to look at. It's kind of um, amazing going through some of the old stuff that I don't think even people have seen online. They're, they tried a lot of crazy stuff that we might be able to salvage and and uh, take the rest of the, the rest of the way. So. I bet, yeah, exactly. So you can kind of with those those old designs and maybe do something, do something completely out there um let me see if i've got i might go to my more risque question area no i'm gonna yeah, go uh, let me see uh da, 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 da. so is there anything you can talk about about 2019 pvp wise like big news that we can expect is there anything you know mid-year late year mini mini kind of roadmap at all uh i mean maybe not roadmap exactly i can go to the things that i know we're probably going to try to ship uh, okay. next year like swiss uh I think for sure next year. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after Swiss, the next priority will be getting. We have the on-demand tournament stuff that we've been planning for a while. So that uh, one of the big flaws with the tournament system right now is that you know you have to wait six hours before you have a, a tournament. If yeah. if one just completed. Uh, so we're we have a system that's partially like the back end is mostly done, but we're uh, we have the same resources that we use, we're using for the Swiss UI as we use for the UI for that. Of basically, if you get four teams to sign up for a tournament. Uh, uh, our specific um, on-demand tournaments, then they'll set a timer and they'll just launch when whenever like, enough teams have signed up. Oh um, wow! But then okay. we, it would be for slightly reduced rewards because we don't want to, you know, introduce don't farming. Uh, yeah. But they'd be mainly used for people can practice tournaments for and then you know prepare themselves for the tournaments that actually give like larger rewards. 
That's um, really good. I mean, you know, and if people want to shout, can um, with the intention, I would, I would expect like probably there's an option to spectate those as well because it would. Yeah, just... they, it would be. It's using the same system, so you could spectate those those uh, on demand tournaments. So if you well. wanted to run a small tournament, you didn't want to deal with you know all the bracketing and using you know external sites to bracket. You could just you could just run you know one of those on demand tournaments. And just people sign up in the chat. Yeah. Like you know, we can just spectate, just create a tournament right now. That's great. The That's only thing you wouldn't be able to do that you have in a community tournament is like having you know invitational type things because it would be open to anybody. Uh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We open to anyone. We, but you could just open it in map chain and just say, guys, right, on and, and on top of this, maybe I'll throw in some gold as well. I right. don't know. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. I mean, that's that's another tool cr to create content, which is really, really great, uh, great for um, people to use, especially on Twitch, YouTube, whatnot as well. If you're a streamer. Um, da, 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 da. Ooh. I actually think I've asked all these questions. Really? <laughs> oh my god, that was just already in my head. Um, I don't. I, like you said, you know that skills-wise, skills and balance, those guys aren't here. But I would expect there to be some kind of large-ish one coming, maybe New Year of. Yeah, there's a. Thing. There'll be another balance. I mean, there's always going to be another. There balance. is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't course. think we haven't announced when, and I'm not the person that has the permission to yes. announce that. Uh, yes. But there. <laughs> there, there is another uh, skills and balance patch or skills uh, patch uh, in the in the works right now. Uh, is in the we works. We just had a meeting about it yesterday, so oh. <laughs> it's definitely happening. Oh. Damn, <laughs> she got, she got one of the guys in there as well. Maybe we could just like tease something out of them, but we could, it's we okay. Can, uh, I wouldn't do that. We can look for some chat that questions if we want to. Yeah, for sure. Let's see if I can find some here. If you guys have any questions, then actually please just go ask ahead. away because I don't want to scroll back. If you guys have questions, <laughs> just, just ask. Wow. It's, it's, I'll, I'll tell you if I can answer it or not. He's been working hard. <laughs> Carson, is there anything you uh, wanted to add um, to the that you wanted to tell people about about the new patch or anything that you want to add at all to the conversation in terms of you know what you're proud of, what you know, some major bug that you guys needed to fix or something that just didn't work and you had to remove other than the, the whole platform thing. Um, because obviously building these maps is... So have, which PvP maps have you worked on in the past? Um, well, I made the PvP lobby rework. Um, Let me shake your hand on that one, sir. It's, it's, <laughs> I like it. This like one it. is the one I'm most proud of, if I'm yeah. going to be honest with you. Uh -huh. um, a lot of work went in, a lot of polish went into this map, and I'm actually really happy with how it how it turned out. I think we all are. So, yeah. um, I guess just moving forward, if you did you guys... the mist too, you did the other two v two map. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. you did. Person also fixed the Coliseum and Capricorn. Didn't yeah. yeah. On those. That's true. Uh, and uh, uh, the favorite... endless nav mesh battle with Kylo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. The endless nav mesh battle with Kylo. <laughs> That's also part of that. <laughs> Yeah, Kylo. Kylo's got quite a few changes yeah. in the past. I mean, took the yeah. roof off and the the side of the buildings, and then yeah, yeah we've gone through several, uh, you know, several iterations. iterations on that, yeah. trying to get yeah. the cameras feeling good. Um, we also have another uh, small PvP map that we've been working on for a while that uh, Carson has done. Um, Did you just say another map? map? Another another small like two v two, three v three map that we're oh working. nice. Also, there is that in the progress. Is that it's that's kind of ongoing. It's just going to yeah. carry on. Yeah, we just updated that in progress uh, thread uh, yeah. a couple of days ago. Like, I was sorely like I don't think the last time we updated it was like it's almost six months or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, we won't. We won't try to. I had a quick that. look. Yeah, I didn't see that yeah. one. I'm gonna be honest, but that's yeah. that's awesome. Again, you know, more content. They are thinking about maps, different stuff. So make sure you get your feedback onto the forums about the TV twos and the free yeah, like potentially because. That is invaluable for them, you know. If they they hear that this might be quite cool in this this map, this mode, maybe something we can enable for the options. I don't know, but um, in questions, really useful. So somebody asked about a two v two rank unranked queue. No current plans for that. I'm not the type of person that ever says never because things change. Yeah, uh, yeah. But no, no, no specific plans about that right now. Um, maybe that's not to say we might not have like a special event stuff but i don't think we'd ever have anything concurrently running with uh conquest uh, unless like i said it's never i never say never because you never know what will happen in the future but no current plans for that it's uh, so true um 10 vt 10 10 versus 10 map we talked about we have one that's basically done we're just waiting to get some ui changes before it's really 
considered ready to go. Uh, how long will it be in a beta state? That's kind of just determines, like there's not a specific <laughs> length of time. Like once yeah. we think all the, like the new conquest map, uh, Jens Dominion is ready, then we'll just, we'll add it to, to unranked or to ranked. Um, I would say probably at least a few months minimum, uh, just because that's, you know, development time. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> The, I just like the fact that you, that people are going to be able to create. I mean, I want to create potentially a two v two now right. because we've got you know you've got the content there for that. Sorry, I'm, it might look like I'm being rude, but I'm trying to get to the chat on my phone. So no, 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 okay. Um, and but like it's the potential to run some tournaments, just have fun in those arenas, um, and enjoy them. It's going to be fantastic for everyone coming back. But I mean, the five v five map is, I, I. I from now, from Inception patch uh, and in feedback, by the way, is how long do you think it will be before this goes into ATs or ranked? Or is that even uh, something that's on your radar? Yeah, right I mean, like for the Jens Dominion, this match? Yeah, 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 Dominion, yeah. yeah. I, like, I think it's going to be at least a couple months, probably. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's not a specific time frame. It's like once we feel it's it's good enough and we think it's ready, then we'll we'll ship it. Um, like, Spirit Watch has been languishing and unranked for years. So, we, like, after... Like, like we talked about before, we're going to be actively looking to to make some adjustments there. Um, For sure. Obviously, we don't want people to run through buildings. Uh, yeah. On, in <laughs> yeah. ranked. So. Yeah. It was funny, Carson. On the day we launched, we released it. He was watching streams and then like fixing stuff as he saw the problems on stream. <laughs> uh, so, and Carson's actually really fast at uh, at fixing stuff. Like. I think we had a question a while back where somebody showed me uh, an invisible wall in uh, was it, what was it? Uh, uh, Bowfire? And then I sent a message to Carson and he sent a one word response said what well, it just said fixed. <laughs> oh <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. All right. All right. And well, now we know what goes on. It's just like yeah. boom, he's on yeah. it straight away. Yeah. We hear about things and we send them to we send them around and then sometimes Carson fixed that probably almost faster than we could have written up a bug for it. He just said he just went in, opened the map and took out the invisible wall. Epic. I have uh, never fixed bugs from Twitch chat before. That's a new experience. <laughs> Maybe she, yeah, go into someone's stream, just have the whole map up and everything else. So, guys, yeah. what's the bugs? Yeah, that's fixed. We'll get that out, you know, as soon as possible. Um, so, just uh, just to talk into chat as well, just to reiterate something about the map, um, which I like. Like these these points seem very close together. I see people making some some comments. Um, well, I have seen some stuff on the forums, but just to give you some insight, especially as someone who shoutcasted the game for a long time, um, the distance between points here, I think, is absolutely fantastic. The reason I like this is because it is, okay, it, it could look like a straightforward route. You know, you just have to run down the stairs, down here, onto the point. It does mean, then, that the end, you know, the defending team can get there to survive, it, but it encourages more fighting rather than just pure mobility. And then when this lamp buff comes up that you need to go access down the bottom, you know, that's where the mobility comes around in this map a lot. And there is a lot of areas to line of sight, you know, like Carsten showed us around this area here, specifically mini jump puzzles kind of stuff uh, that you can pick out. Can you get onto this bridge up there? Is that doable? Uh, you can currently, but not... Uh, next build. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, guys. <laughs> go, go, go grab yeah. yourself some bridge time. Um, but yeah, I mean, this map, like, the detail, it is is a beautiful map. I mean, it looks like a small area and, you know, half of fire that you could easily access. And I would, I would even say, you know, maybe one of the best ones you can look at. So, um, you know, the waterfall, look at that. You don't want to kill people here. It's, it just feels like you want to walk around, you know, you want a holiday here, maybe summer. It's the voiceover as well. Yeah. It's pretty good. I like it. It just It's just different, you know. Um, and as a player in the game, it does make me feel quite good that this kind of thing has come out this week, you know, because um, bringing out new maps, it is difficult, you know, and there's a lot of work that goes into this. There's environment, there's... You know, that's what Carson does, like building the map, you know, from the ground up and everything else to balance, you know, how well skills are going to work in the map, you know, bugs, all those issues. And it does take a lot of time um, to complete. So, you know, thanks very much. That's very awesome. Um, Angels keeps asking next season. Uh, if you mean whether this map will be available in rank next season, I would say a strong maybe. A strong maybe. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I, I think I'm, I'm like... You know, the bug's fixed. I really like this map. I think it's good enough. Cool. I think it's definitely good enough. I mean, you know, there might be some 
fill in with the bar. So I haven't really got into a situation where you could be that competitive in it because obviously beta, um, you know, you're only going to get so many people in there. So, I mean, I think a ranked, a ranked, a ranked beta or whatever, you know, where it pops up every so often and it forces it in. You know, people might not, might, might be upset a little bit about their ranking, but I think to inevitably get this in, I've, you know, I think it's one of the most complete maps you guys have probably made, like from scratch. I think it's, you should be proud of it. Um, yeah. And that's not me sucking up, guys. <laughs> I'm I'm honest with Ben yeah. uh, and you guys as much as as much as I as much as possible, and you know that from my casting in the past. But um, yeah, I mean, I think we've actually kind of. I think Ruby said I don't envision in this going for an hour and a half, and we're <laughs> we're getting close to that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I just any final questions from the chat, like really, really final. Or anything you guys want to add? Um, I mean, Cal's been over there. He's been quite right. quite, quite quiet, so I feel bad. He's not he's not on camera or anything. But yeah. well, Cal's always kind of quiet. That's true. Uh, Boots uh, asks when was the time setting? It's in the mist, so there's no time. It's just, mm. it is what it is. It is what it is. It is when it is. That's, that's true. Actually, I didn't actually ask anything about the gin that's down here in the map. Like, is there any, is there any story or lore about this gin? I mean, is it got anything to do with like the whole Samoros, the, the new raid or is it, um, it's, it's Yasmi, right? Yasmi the fickle. Uh, there isn't like a whole lot of backstory on it. We're not a, a strong story. I've seen team. the bug. I've seen the bug. Yasm. <laughs> oh, you know what? Her name gets cut off. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> the Yasm. Yeah. I actually kind of like that. <laughs> it has her full name on the targeting thing. Um, <laughs> like, I think the idea is that she's kind of carved this place out for herself, as Jins tend to seem to like to do. They like to, to carve their souls out of space. So this is her domain, uh, and she likes people fighting for her amusement. And there we call her Fickle because she doesn't really take sides. She just enjoys, like, you know, People carnage. slaughtering yeah. each other. <laughs> so, I mean, there is something about that, you know? I mean, it's yeah. in the raids. There's very much these guys pitting people against each other. And, you know, there's something about gambling, you know, the Mystic, <laughs> you know, the mystic yeah, yeah. Forge and everything else. There is that, that very um, strong theme there. So it kind of makes sense that they, one of the gym would be there. I actually kind of like that NPC being there as well because it does add everything. I mean, it... This is, like you say, I mean, if you do designate one player to it, this is your kind of 1v1 arena, yeah. potentially. I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, it's, I mean, if you only send one player each, it's three capture points. You've got to divide and conquer, right? Same thing in Temple of Silent Storm. You know, if you've got stillness on Tranquility, you need to pay attention to those buffs. I mean, I've been in a lot of games where these buffs haven't been touched, and I've just been going around blasting people. Yeah. Like, we're just with uh, a massive amount of affection yeah. and love. Um, <laughs> and joy. Uh, but, but yeah, I mean, I think other than that, just having a look. Let's see. Uh, and yet the rank modes. I think we kind of talked about that a little bit. Uh, yeah. Not current plans, but we never say never. So, that, you know, things could change. But right now, uh, ranked is going to remain uh, conquest for the foreseeable future. I mean... When I, my first question, I don't actually think I asked that much, but I asked the theme. But in terms of, I mean, how many of you sit down in a room and you think about the mechanics? Like, you know, you call a meeting, we've got like new map boys and girls and uh, whoever. And usually like, we grab a, a handful of people. And sometimes we'll grab some of the other systems people, even though they may not work on like competitive all the time, they still have good ideas. So we, I think we had several meetings talking about the the secondary mechanic for this one and both what would it be and then the play space around it um yeah it's just one of those iterative processes we go through several times and we were completely prepared if this didn't work well okay let's think of something else it was kind of the secondary mechanics on the conquest map usually are the ones that take the long or the at least in terms of the scripting take the longest to do the, the more complicated thing Awesome. I'm just trying to think of it. I don't think there's anything else to really talk about. So make sure you guys check out the new content. 2v2 map, 5v5 map. Um, you've got sigils and runes. You've got the new armor. I really want that because the back shiny is very cool. Um, easier to get in PvP than Wild Blue World. <laughs> um, so go and play PvP. Um, <laughs> uh, markets, plaza, 
and Carson. <laughs> Let me just call that point, Carson. I was just trying to remember the names that just popped into my head. And Pier. I mean, I, li- I like this map. It's very symmetrical um, in terms of just, you know, the respawning, the points, you know, the mids. It's it's very simple map for people to understand. It's just getting used to those mechanics. I did produce something on the wiki. If you really want to know, the Guild Wars 2 wiki is up. You can go and, you know, spend some time and you can add some stuff about the 2v2 map, you know, help other people get that information, um, which is very useful because, you know, there's a lot about the buffs on this map specifically, which, um, you know, it's very important and very, very useful uh, for sure. But other than that, anything else you guys want to add? No, I appreciate you coming down. I appreciate everybody checking out the stream. Uh, yeah. Any questions? Uh, Oh, people commenting about the FPS drops. I know Carson's been looking into that, uh, trying to find some tricks. It yeah. works well on our insects, but I know a lot of our players don't like to reduce their graphic level for any reason. So, um, so he's he's trying to find some tricks, Carson tricks. The thing is, I haven't actually noticed because in terms of my own settings in the game, like for PvP to try and be a little bit more competitive and just look, being able to see um, some some more of the circles and whatnot in terms of AOE. I mean. Actually, I'm on a different PC. Um, I just realized that the game does look a lot better here because I just turned a lot of my settings down for PvP. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of pl- there's a lot of things you can play with in here that will just reduce that FPS just a tiny bit, which is useful. Um, but yeah, just play around. I mean, it's a new map. It's a new patch, guys. So, you know, there will be those kind of issues. There is, there is no game that is perfect on release, even, you know... Um, so just bear with them. I'm sure, you know, Carson's fixed pretty much about a load of bugs anyway. By the sounds of it, they're just waiting yeah. to kind of get chucked in. So that's good. So Tuesdays, I guess, release-wise. I don't know. But otherwise, I mean, Cal, you all right over there? Yeah. You happy? It's great. <laughs> he is. He's just, like, he's just wandering around the map. He's been doing this for ages. He loves This is map. what a QA person does. <laughs> yeah. And he didn't not... find the invisible wall. <laughs> no. I actually, I think... I think it was a recent change that I was doing for optimization when I accidentally clicked the wrong thing and it made it no co- no uh, yeah, no like collision. Some of the stuff that people have been finding, I definitely know. <laughs> <laughs> you changed it so, without telling me. So. Carson changed it without telling me. <laughs> Cal, that, that happens sometimes. Awesome. In a, in a quick development cycle, that can sometimes happen. <laughs> All right. Okay, so yeah, I think that's going to be the end of the stream for now. Guys, thanks so much. Is there anything you want to mention in the weeks? Uh, 2v2 tournament 80 is going to start on the 26th of yep. November. Uh, rough time start? Uh, I think we're still working out the exact times of the okay. things. I'd have to remember it. Sometime after 9 o'clock because we want to be here when the first tournament kicks off. Of course, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, day. it'll be sometime between yeah. like 9 and noon probably for the first tournament, uh, depending so, on where the dailies hit that day too, where the, where the Conquest dailies hit. Awesome. So, guys, on the 26th, make sure if you're in game that you go and check the swords top left hand corner. You go down to the third tab. I'm assuming, in terms of it, will be on this screen and there'll be a 2v2 tab and people just go there well, and they can. It'll click. just, it'll be, you'll see them An in between one. them. It's called Duenas Duos, is the uh, the name of the tournament. Duenas so. Duos. And our love of alliteration continues. So. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's a good name, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no sarcasm. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> But yeah, otherwise, guys, I think that's fantastic. Um, keep up the good work. Um, can't wait to see Spirit Watch maybe reworked. So that's one of my maps I actually really, really enjoy. I do enjoy that personally. So, you know, it's about awesome. a Spirit Watch. <laughs> <laughs> um, but other than that, you know, the new armor looks fantastic. I'm going to be getting in there myself. Hopefully you at home will do the same. Thank you, Carson. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Cal. Um, for giving me the, as well and Noreen Nanette for giving me the opportunity to just in, interview and talk to you guys. It's very much appreciated in hosting this. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the mists, guys. Come and join us in the new content. Uh, get yourself into the new maps and uh, start farming for that gear. That loading screen as well is absolutely epic, by the way, whoever did that yeah. art. Um, but anyway, before I'll I divert, <laughs> keep going. Uh, yeah, please do, please do. Guys, everyone from my community on Twitch, thank you so much for coming out and supporting, and everyone in the Guild Wars 2 community who is here uh, and enjoying this new content, thank you for coming out. We will see you next time. Um, and yeah, take care. Have a great day. It's it's weekend. Uh, happy Thanksgiving as well to everyone in America for, yeah. for the upcoming times, and happy holidays if I don't see you before. Uh, Thanks, thank you everyone. very much. Have a good day. See you soon.